you know, there's all these definitions with NIST and everything else that you've heard about, but I'd say just the a way to use a shared pool of resources with universal access based on a pay-per-use or fee-for-use kind of model that allows people to use these resources available on mm -hmm. networking and computing and, and, and surge and provide services that people need to get their jobs done. So I think uh, uh, it's, a, it's a way to really you know, make and leverage technology with acquisition and with the ability to deploy services in a faster manner and, uh, and, and also uh, in a flexible manner. Mm -hmm. So I think to me that is what it really means to me and it's, it's, uh, it's a better way to, to and a more exciting way to look at how we can uh, uh, go forward and, and get things done. Well, I think the, the aspect that really intrigues me is the, so the on-demand self-service kind of a model. Uh, but the ability to also deploy things faster and also for any mission. So uh, our uh, vision is to have support any mission, anytime, anywhere. And, uh, and so obviously if you can provide these resources with appropriate capacity planning and make that available, uh, that's very interesting for our uh, uh, department. We are a very dispersed department at 2,600 locations. We have a lot of employees uh, in these locations, 70,000 plus 200,000 volunteers. We have a large number of mission areas. We control 20% of the land, 30% of the water, and all these sort of things. So I think from that standpoint, uh, we really support the American public. And so to make that mission happen, we have to look at these infrastructure services, uh, you know, the platform services and the software services, so that we can uh, support that not only for internally for the private cloud, but also externally for the citizenry. And according to OMB, we have the largest number, other than DOD, we have the largest number of services for citizens, uh, 23. And so to make this happen, you know, for the dispersity, I think cloud is a very good way to manage our infrastructure better. So that's why we're interested in this. Well, today there's no horizontal fusion of how we can go across organizational lines and provide these services seamlessly. So meaning that, for example, if something is connected to, you know, you can get service all the way up to one end and then it stops and you got to wait for something else. Uh, I think with cloud, there's an ability to seamlessly go across and deploy services for anywhere, anytime, any mission, reliably and securely. And that has been the promise, uh, the, the holy grail as it were, of uh, how IT can really support missions. And to, to do that, I think uh, uh, that's something, I think 10 years from now, uh, uh, you know, we shall see that. So that'll be exciting. We can look back and say we were here <laughs> when we started. I'm interested in the, uh, uh, the cost savings. Uh, as you know, the budgets are getting tighter, so everyone has to get more efficient and more effective. Uh, we're interested in the faster deployment. I think the faster deployment allows us to get things done uh, in a timely manner. Uh, I know DOD, we're working with DOD and others, and we're watching how they're also deploying things faster. NASA is also the Nebula Cloud. Uh, we also have cloud services in the interior that we're looking at that can deploy things faster. So I think de faster deployment is, is, is clearly one of the interesting things. The other one is, uh, I would say, is uh, the ability to, uh, 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 you know, in addition to cost savings and faster deployment, is to kind of make sure that for certain applications, you know, cloud really is just perfect. And uh, so we are uh, very, very interested in leveraging those kind of capabilities.